The World Aid Walk is a huge tradition on Guernsey. It's been around for 46 years and it's a platform, a fundraising platform, to raise money for the world's poorest in the world. Traditionally it was set up by three teachers who thought it would be a good idea that uh, school children walk to raise money for the world's poorest. And it's just growing year on year and now we have a thousand walkers and it's just fantastic. We've now got seven charities and international charities uh, all doing incredible work. Unfortunately it's it's grey day today isn't it? Uh, it? It doesn't matter, sea looks beautiful in, in, on grey days so uh, they'll be walking from here through the town you know, to see the, the main street and the town clogged with bright colours, children and everyone walking is just warms my heart. Then they go along the seafront uh, uh, towards um, the bridge, then they go inland and then they're, they're walking over beaches, sand dunes, having picnics. You know, they're just, the kids are discovering Guernsey, they're seeing the cows in the field, they're going past the headbed for a snack. It's it, it's fabulous. They're rediscovering their island too, which is just lovely. We know that half of the world is living on less than two and a half dollars a day, over three billion people, and a billion children are living in extreme poverty. You know, between 17 and 22,000, according to UNICEF, children are dying every day because of poverty related illnesses. 800 women are dying every day. Uh, giving birth um, you know the stats are just phenomenal and to be found at the click of a button on the web. Our bank operates in Africa, Asia and the Middle East and so many of the charities in fact all of the charities that are benefiting you know with the World Aid Walk we have a very close affinity and understanding and appreciation by seeing it day to day in Africa, Asia and the Middle East in terms of that poverty side so it's about giving something back standard charters the strapline is here for good trying to make changes for good in the communities and so for us it's a, it's an honor and a privilege to be involved We care on Guernsey we're a prosperous community and it's the one day little tiny children can walk with their parents um, and, and walk dogs prams out we go, you know, 12 miles. Some of these children never walk. And they come here and you saw them this morning, they've got a huge smile on their face. So it's, it's just brilliant. Great opportunity for people who care to actually raise some money. I think it's been great. I think, you know, the weather's been kind. It's not been too hot and not been too cold. It's been just right from that perspective. It's inspiring to see all the kids at the start um, and, you know, the parents getting involved. So it's a real family community day, but most importantly, it's that generational thing. It's little kids doing it, realizing what it's like and appreciating you know, other people and, and, and being good for humanity. So it's a real feel good day. And this year we've got the Overseas Aid Commission matching every penny that we raise. So if we raise um, 35K today, we'll get 70. How, how great is that? So proud organizers, fantastic team of volunteers. It's been a real privilege to work with them. I think it, it's just a, a, it's a real palpable, conscious demonstration by young people that it, it, it matters, it, they care, and uh, I think that's the thing that sort of, you know, I'm in awe of, their, their inspiration. The World Aid Walk is an opportunity for us to show the world that we care from Guernsey. Yeah, it got quite tiring towards the end, but at the start we were like running like sections and then we stopped and started to like be more steady with our pace. Yeah. Oh, it was tiring. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Feet hurt now. We stopped at Pottsworth to have our lunch and we, we got there really early, like around 11, half 11, so we got a really good table. I find raising money for charities is, is quite good. It's really fun because I do with my friends. Oh, and I think slightly more difficult based on what I'm wearing. I wanted to go dressed to something because it kind of adds more to the day and just doing the World Over Walk I wasn't sure if I would have done it otherwise or like an occasion. Hard, but quite good. quite painful but also very happy, happy that we finished and yeah. in a good time. We do it every year. Why? So um because it helps people less fortunate than us. My feet were aching, they felt like they were gonna fall off. My feet are broken. Yes, you should do it because it's for a great cause and you can see what it's actually like for people who have to walk this every day just to get water.